I always get this question, and I always like to wrap up with this. If I'm interested in this field, where do I go? Um, I'm assuming Ocean Curious is a great place to start, right? Uh, I am a little bit biased, but I'd say yes, sure. Ocean Curious is the best place. And actually, I, I get usually two to three requests a day on different social media and different places that ask me that exact question. How do I get into open source intelligence? Or what are your recommendations? What tools yeah. should I learn? Should I learn Kali Linux or whatever? My response is always the same. It is join a community. Don't just listen to me, who's over here in the United States that deals with certain types of things. You might be in a different part of the world. You might have different goals or different thoughts on the world uh, and different interests. So what I usually say is join in a, a Discord, a Slack, or some other type of community. Osync Curious has a Discord at iam.osyncurio.us slash Discord. It's free. We've got uh, almost 8,000 people in there, and they're from all over the world, and they're very supportive. So a new person joining, asking me, hey, what do you suggest, is going to be a lot less productive than them going to our uh, Discord and going and joining the how do I get into OSINT channel and look at all the, the wonderful responses from our experienced investigators. Mikey, can you go to the OSINT Curious website and just show us like some of the like getting started stuff or, you know, like, like we said, if, if I'm new, I mean, I can go to Discord. Is there any like places I can start here, people I can follow, you know, how do I get started? Absolutely. Uh, one of the, the simplest things to do is just go to osyncurio.us or osyncurious and all the things that you need are here. Uh, the, dis the link to our Discord server is right over here. Uh, that'll take you over there. You create a free account and you have instant access to our community. Uh, we have blog posts yeah. um, and here's some other ones. These are free blog posts that are written by people that do open source intelligence and that you can trust. And then up here, we have our 10 minute tips and live streams and other things. So these are like videos, right? Right, these are 10 minute uh, videos that are skills-based videos. Um, Stephen Harris, Nick's yep. Intel, made this wonderful resource right here, I am Osin Curious Resources. And it's just a Google Doc, but it organizes our content. So if you wanna learn Linux basics, you click over here, and then here's our 10 minute tip videos that take you off to our free YouTube page. That's so brilliant. Just Really easy to access, puts everything in control over people, um, over our users. Um, you mentioned, who do I follow? Well, we have this About Us channel, our About Us page. And down here, we have the members and their Twitter handles. I would strongly suggest following these people and even the people that used to be a part of our project, but maybe have moved on to bigger and better things. Um, they are also on this page. I just want to make this um, clear. Ocean Curious isn't a corporation, is it? That's right. We're a, a U.S.-based nonprofit. I think that's important to highlight. So for everyone who's um, who's watching, you're not trying to sell something. You're just trying to help the community. Yeah, it, Ocean Curious is is all about building community, strengthening community, and teaching that community for free. Uh, all of our products are free. We do live streams. We have a video library going back to 2018 with thousands of hours of of live streams and skills-based learning that, like I said, are all free. We are supported 100% by patrons uh, using the Patreon patron site uh, over here on our page. We also have some sponsors that have been amazing to help us out. Um, and then just people like you and other people that have uh, allowed us to promote ourselves on the show and, and get new followers. Yeah, I mean, that's brilliant. So I mean, I, for everyone who's watching, I suggest, you know, go and sign up. It's all free, so make the most of it. What books? Uh, any recommended books, any recommended like courses? Because some people like a structured learning path. Is there like anything that you'd recommend? There is. Um, and and it is a little bit selfish of myself. No, no, if you pre feel free to promote because it's like, it doesn't matter. It's like, how do I get started? Okay. So my biggest suggestion um, right now is Myosint Training. Uh, it is a training site that I've created and right. it has, it is all about affordable learning uh, with 
all of the great details that you would need. Everything from uh, cyber threat intelligence and OSINT to uh, school and skills and stuff. So, um, you know, using OSINT command line tools, we're just getting ready to put a whole bunch of new core content on there about how do we do open source intelligence in, using different tools and different techniques. Heck, I've even got a class here on how to use CyberChef more, <laughs> like what we just did today. So this is one place that I suggest. Uh, there are also some really, really talented people out there that do open source intelligence that share openly. Uh, people like Sin Windy uh, and his OSINTDojo.com site and other people. So uh, you don't need to pay a huge amount of money to learn in the field. And it... OSINT is unlike cyber in a lot of ways. We aren't all about the certifications like cyber is. Yeah. Uh, you can uh, take some courses on things that you want to do. You can grow your skills and then you can get a job or volunteer those skills in certain areas. So can you just go back to your site? I, I, it's not plugging. It's I mean, people can take this as, as they like. So just for everyone watching, I don't get a kickback for doing this. Um, there's no like affiliate link or anything. So this is just me trying to you know give you options. Um, Michael, which is the first course that you'd recommend I start with and all those courses? Because there's quite a few courses. There are a bunch of, of courses here. Uh, my thought would be uh, that uh, people buy the all course subscription bundle, one price, you get access to everything, all of the OSINT courses. So you don't have to worry about, and it's for one year. We're just about to add more courses. So you get those for free. If you wanted to start out just intro to OSINT, what I would say is just wait probably about a month or so. We're going to be making an OSINT immersion course that will be posted up here that uh, will take you beginning to end. How do I get into OSINT? How do I do all the things in OSINT? Mike, I mean, the $500 for a lot of people is a lot of money. So I think the the good thing there is you're showing that if you want to invest in your education or your company can pay for you, you could go and get that. But for someone who hasn't got the funds, let's say they're just starting out, uh, YouTube, I mean, you've got a lot of content on YouTube, a lot of content on your website, right? Absolutely. And the idea behind training is, I think what you said earlier, somebody else has organized, yeah. has put things together methodically, maybe provided you exercises to, to reinforce those skills. But it, and, and that's really what you're paying for. You're paying for their time creating that course. If you don't have that those funds, that's absolutely fine. Open source intelligence like cyber is something that you can self-teach. Uh, yeah. Go to the OSIN Curious community, our Discord. There are channels on all the different social media platforms and all the different techniques. You could literally just spend time in there asking people questions and, get, and trying out tools. Or, like you said, go to our YouTube watch hashtag on OSINT on Twitter and on go to uh, slash R or R slash OSINT on Reddit and look at what people are posting there. It's just more of a choose your own adventure at that point instead of a methodical course that you would go through. But yeah, you don't have to invest in your education in order to learn OSINT. I, I love that the way the world's going though. So I mean, it's there's, as they would say in the UK, different courses for different courses. You know, there's um there's different sort of ways to go. Um, if I'm just starting out, I can get a lot of free information. But if I work for a company, I want to. I want them to pay and get me through the content as quickly as I can so I get, get new skills. Uh, one thing we didn't cover is books. Have you got any recommended books? I do not right now. I'm not a book person. Mike, he has a, he has a, he has a nasty question. Uh, do you have any top three tools that I should know in OSINT? I, I love and hate when people ask me about tools because OSINT yep. is not about the tools. Tools are a way to achieve our goals. Um, but if David, if you're going to twist my arm here, I will say one of my favorite tools is an, is a tool for documentation. It's Obsidian. I don't know if you've ever. Oh wow, well, yeah, I've heard I've heard of it. Yeah, go on. But just explain for the audience. Yeah, sure. Obsidian is a free tool if you're using it personally. A very low cost tool if you're using professionally in a company. And what it does is it helps you organize your content. Uh, for me, since all of these different pieces of open source intelligence are linked. It allows me to to display those links in a meaningful way, not like tools that are doing link analysis like Multigo or some other tools like that. But it allows me to say, hey, I've got this person here and they are connected to that person and this group and that company and then pivot to those other pages and record and document. And if you want, I'm happy to come back another day and uh, talk about Obsidian. 
It's it, I've created YouTube videos and classes about it as I do. So your audience can get learning for free or paid as well. My other tools would be um, my what's my name dot app tool. Uh, myself and Chris, Chris Poulter made it. I love it because it's one of those force multipliers. I just have a username like fuzzy bunny one, two, three, and I put it in the tool and using just my web browser, it'll search over 400 different websites and show you where there might be profiles. And then I think my third tool would probably be a VPN to keep me safe. <laughs> I like that. 